From the Woodshed, a casual conversation with Chase Morrill and Ryan Eldridge from Kennebec Cabin Company, the team that inspired the hit show Main Cabin Masters. From the Woodshed is brought to you by Nelma. See the stamp, trust the quality. By Hero Media Arts, connecting small business with new customers. And by Hammond Lumber, your building project partner. Now, from the Woodshed Studios at KCC Headquarters in Manchester, Maine, it's Chase and Ryan. From the Woodshed, I'm Chase Morrill. With me, as always, Ryan Eldridge and Maggie Morrill. Hey, guys. Hello. We're here to talk about all things Maine, all things cabin, all things Maine cabin related, and today also barns. Barns. Our guest is Mark Bow from Barnwood Builders. You can find us at KennebecCabinCompany.com, MainCabinMasters.com, our Facebook, Instagram, YouTube channel, and check out our online store at shop.kennebeckcabincompany.com. We always want to thank our sponsors, Hammond Lumber Company, the official building material supplier of Kennebec Cabin Company, Nelma, Northeast Lumber Manufacturing Association, Hero Media Network, and Kennebec Savings Bank. And we had Mark on last season, so it'll be good to uh, repeat customer. catch back up with him. And we have some information. Yeah, we had a little, uh, yeah, we won't go too far into it, but... You have to st- we had a chance stay. to meet up and yeah. That's fun. That's a good meal. It was. It was. <laughs> uh, yeah, we'll talk about that. It was in- very interesting. Yes. So what's going on? A lot of a lot of activity downstairs. Yes. It looks so different. Little things, big changes. Little things, big changes. Um yeah. More snow. More snow. Mm-hmm. What a weird, weird winter. Yeah. Yep. Our second winter. Your dad just um, might have pulled me out of the ditch. I hate, didn't want to admit this, but I couldn't not. Again? <laughs> Again, yeah. Nice, nice. Uh, yeah, I was trying to plow current. So like, that snow was getting heavy and wet. And slick, slick, mm-hmm. slick, slick. When I plowed yesterday, it was the lightest, fluffiest, going up over the truck. And then even by the end of the day, that warmed up and it was like snowballs. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I was in the, well, I was at my barn, and I was just down below, and... I hadn't plowed and I was just spinning and just sliding further and further out of the way. I'm like, I'm not getting stuck right here. <laughs> yeah. We were driving to school and then we drove past a car in the ditch and then I got to school and then one of the kids in my advice he walked in was like, it was his car in the ditch. <gasps> was he in the car? Yeah. He like, oh, it was actually really funny because my other advice, he was right in front of me and then she would have like pulled out and then he came down this other road. And like almost hit her, one to the oh, ditch. God. Then I was right there driving beside. And then my other advice, he pushed him out of the ditch. So it was like, yeah. What do you mean pushed him out of the ditch? I, like, I assume so because he was like, wow. I mean, he was po- his car was like pointed out of it. The gotcha, ditch, gotcha, so I think, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. So like, yeah. So those are those are important lessons to learn. How to get yourself out of a ditch. You gotta drive in the snow. Like, yeah. What you do when you go in a ditch? Are you nervous driving in the snow? Or do you just take it. No, I don't really. I mean, I have set of tires, and I don't really slide that often. And the roads weren't that bad today. Like, they were. They were just bad in, during the school. hours that yeah, like yeah. I was at school. I literally went into the office at the back forty and came out, and it was like three or four inches of snow. I was like, what? Just like that. Yeah. How's Nori doing on her drive? Is Ed? She hasn't been driving much. She hasn't. She hasn't been I don't driving. Think she enough. drives with you. She wow. drove us to. She's not very good at parking. That's something. Um, I told her she needed to drive some more. To, cause I'm just happy she's going for a license. I didn't think she would. I could just see her be like, oh, I, I can't do that. Exactly. Exactly. Because we were talking about all the deer. And I said, you should. And she was like, I have cat like reflexes. <laughs> so. And I've already killed one, anyways. <laughs> <laughs> for those who don't know, Nori uh, wanted to go hunting, yep. right? She was fascinated with that. She's always been fascinated with dead animal. Yeah. I've, I've seen her pick up things that I wouldn't even dare to look at. Like, it's true. Dead turtles. Not anymore, really. But, but she went yeah. to that phase, right? She was pretty badass. Yep. yep. And then she went to hunt. Yep. And Dixie took her out. And we were somewhere. Remember? We got a text. We were working on escargo camp. Yeah. And Dixie took the morning off to go hunting. And 15 minutes. Perfect shot. Kill. And pre- preface this. Yeah. I, she, you had told her that if she actually shot a deer, you would have it mounted. Yep. Yep. And it is still in our house. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But that was it. She's never gone out again. Nope. 
She's like, this was too easy. I'm done. That's so awesome. <laughs> and Dixie's like, yeah, we got, we did the whole thing, respected the animal. And oh, yeah, it was. Then she's on the, the next best, next thing. Yeah. I was reading somewhere, I've been heard of a bunch, that like a lot of kids these days are for going getting their license. License isn't like. Yeah, I know. Like I said, I was surprised. I, I get it in the city, but like, are you finding that with your classmates? No. Maine it's different, right? Like you can't get there. You can't you, get there yeah. you or yeah. you're riding the bus. But yeah. also it's really easy. The test, oh. the test is quite easy. Is it? Yes. Do you get the answer beforehand? Yeah. Ask Isadora how easy it is. Oh. <laughs> if she tried it's easy five now. Times. Yeah. Yeah, I know someone that like failed like four times. Right. Well, the first thing you do is you be really nice to them. Yes. Sure. <laughs> I, did, I did. I did mine in snow so much today. It was awesome. No Subaru yeah. dumping snow. Mm -hmm. That's the first time. <laughs> were you a first timer? Mm -hmm. You weren't a first timer. No, I was. Were you? Yeah, I was a first timer. I definitely fooled them. <laughs> <laughs> so ski season's winding down, and the snowing and is picking up. It's kind of been a weird, weird year. All right. But now it's free ski, free ski season. Nice. Yeah. If I had time for that. We got time. Yeah, you got to make the time. We got about a month until baseball season starts up. Sign-ups are going out. Fletch is playing. Eva playing this year? Horseback riding. Horseback. Picks up in the spring. But yep. You do, you're non-sports in the spring? Horse, well, horse. yeah, I do ride. I riding. ride. Start riding again. I was the horse. Still there. Still <laughs> Dad, I assume they're good. Okay, I wasn't sure what that was going to I haven't been in a while. Uh, did you see the Farmington? Uh, no, excuse me, Skowhegan, the uh, ski journey, that's taken off. Yeah. But you kids got to do that. I know, my Most mom wanted to, to go see, but I feel like I had something, Sarah I wants I had to, something so to, badly. to do. We, Kennebec Cabin Company, the back 40, we'll all sponsor you, the woodshed. It'd be awesome. Okay. Start training. We'll get on it. You get Fletcher skiing behind it. We just Holy need smokes. a good horse to do it with. One of the girls pulling Fletcher, right? And if you're really mad, just go fast. Yeah, whip him. Well, whip that's him, not whip him real thing. good. Yeah, that's so, an old song. So Fletcher right now is uh, into yeah. grinding rails. Oh, like on, skate on, on on skis. I can see that guy broke his skis yesterday. Yeah, so he goes. I I come home one day. He's standing on top of my metal pile, just up on top of it. I'm like, "What are you doing?" He's like, "Nothing." I'm like, "All right, whatever." Behind the bed. Yep. He found these two pieces of metal pipe, laid them out on the lawn. Nothing did. <laughs> and was grinding them, but he picked like two pipes that had like jagged pieces of metal sticking out of them. First, he took, took a huge core shot, and then he did something else to the other one. And it's like, Fletch, you know, I could have helped you with this. So, no, it's fine. So he's going to have his race skis out. <laughs> <laughs> He'll probably lose a race by 0 0.05 cents. <laughs> I saw it yesterday. He was 27th and Matt Evo was 26. Yeah, they did. They were right neck and neck. I wouldn't want to be at that dinner table last night. <laughs> <Jeez>. <laughs> they did really good. <laughs> well, let's take a short break um, and then we'll get Mark Bo, Mark Bo on and yeah. start talking to him. All right, check out this video and we will be back. Hi, my name is Ashley Morrill. I am the co owner of Kennebec Cabin Company home of the main cabin masters. We really wanted to be able to connect with our fan base and we wanted to find a space where we could go and feature um, all of the artists and craftsmen that I discover um, through the show. If you see something maybe in the, one of the episodes of main cabin masters, you know, you can come into the store and whoop, there it is. We've got a little bit of everything for everybody um, and then some. This is our lighting section. You have these beautiful handmade lampshades I think every camp needs a hammock. I say that a lot. I think I say it on every episode that every camp needs a hammock. So when you first walk in, one of the first things you might recognize is the canoe bookshelf. One of the first projects that Chase and I built together. The little onesies. Love those, those are my favorite, might be my favorite item. The beautiful art by Helene Farrar. She actually is our neighbor next door. Uh, we're getting new pieces in weekly. Fastest items to always go are these bat boxes. They, they can house up to 100 bats, but you probably already knew that if you watched the show. We've got all the pictures of all the cabins that we've done hanging on the walls. We have all the artists and craftsmen um, that I've worked with throughout the shop. 
you just really feel like you are, you know, right here with us. So come on in and visit us. We are at 915 Western Ave in beautiful Manchester, Maine. Or you can also find us online at KennebecCabinCompany.com. We look forward to seeing you. All right, and we are back with our guest, Mark Bow. Mark is host of Barnwood Builders, a fellow Magnolia Network show. And thanks for joining us. We've had you on last year, and it was so much fun. We uh, asked you back. Well, I'm glad we did. You know, we, we did it last year, and since then, I've got to meet you in person. So yes. this is uh, way more comfortable now. <laughs> well, Mark, before we get much further, we call this our shoot the shit session, and we always offer water, coffee, or beer. Um, so you might have to watch us drink, unfortunately. Oh, look, wait, what's uh, going down there? Is he? F oh, he's got. <laughs> <laughs> kind of a big deal. <laughs> you know what's in there? That's right. You that's know, right. Pickle juice, man, you don't know what I'm drinking. It could be pickle juice. It could be clear liquid. A little pickleback. <laughs> Thank you, sir. So yeah, let's. Um... I share the good news that yeah, you say, guys were up in Maine. Is that a secret? It's not anymore. Yeah. Da da da. I went. He's on social media. I think. I think. Uh, didn't Jedi break all the rules and didn't he mm. post it? Oh shoot! All right, never mind. Oh yeah, probably. <laughs> A little behind the eight ball. <laughs> but yeah, for people, yeah. That, people that don't know, Mark and crew, you guys are up and was it? Can't where you got? You guys are doing an episode, retrieving a barn. Yeah. Right, right, and and you know the thing is, I'm like, well, if we're going to Maine, I need to, I need to meet up with Maine cabin masters. You know, we need to, we need to figure this out, and you know, we couldn't figure out how it was going to work, and like who produces, who does all this. And I'm like, it's not that difficult. We genuinely want to get to know these guys. <laughs> Right, and we want to just hang out with their crew because we're fans, and we just think that we'd have fun together. So, if you film it, you film it. If you don't, you don't. That's on you. And so, fortunately, the film crew was, you know, they were, they were like, "Yeah, let's do it." It's we, true, but it wasn't as easy as we thought it would. You know, like you said, I thought it would just be, "Hey, we'll show up, talk a little bit, and what?" But like everybody's like, ah, ah, ah. "Well, let's be truthful." It was great because, like, oh, my God, their whole setup is just as messed up as us. <laughs> like, we've been talking about this forever. And then it was it's like 9 a.m. I'm two hours away. You're an hour from me in the other direction. And like, oh, yeah, we got to meet Mark and the team up in uh, Canton or wherever the heck it was. Canton or wherever. It was Canton, in, yeah. in, like, th two and a half hours. Yeah. And then we're just like, oh, my God, like, maybe this is the way TV is. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so we don't have anything to compare it to. So maybe I need to come up and see how it's done done with your crew, and and, yes. and then just get on a big fun life, and you know. Yes, <laughs> but it came to I mean it came together typical TV fashion last minute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, we had a great yeah. meal. Yeah, when oh my, so good, so good. yeah, Surrey seafood, right? Yeah. Um, when oh, does that yeah. episode air? Do you know? No, you know, sometimes they run out of order, as you guys know. We, we um, you know, I guess they, they select the episodes and then sometimes it gets changed or moved on. And, you know, you never know what's going to happen. Sometimes you think it's going to air and then you're like, oh, my God, it's Super Bowl. And right, right, it's right. Super Bowl week. All their, you can't compete with the Puppy Bowl in Game of Thrones. <laughs> <laughs> Has your new season started yet? Yeah, well, we filmed 20 episodes. Um, and so... They they um, they aired half of them, and so the other half is coming out now. Gotcha. And gotcha. We, that's not the contract. We filmed our first uh, episode of another season. That so you know we'll have uh, content throughout the rest of the year. But it's kind of crazy, man. We're, we're doing an episode every two weeks. Wow, every two weeks. That's pretty unbelievable to me. So I just got word from the top that. It from the real top top may 4th is when this episode might air so that's when that's when this oh yeah that's what i heard yep the may big the fourth be with us. the big crossover event yeah exactly <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. we will have some you know what we, there will be a lot of uh hullabaloo about that we're having yeah. a party yeah yeah this is a, I'm, I'm yeah we're excited what night do you guys air on uh thursdays Thursday. Oh, that's Thursday. Thursday. I mean, 
Oh, yeah. That's my CTV, brother. <laughs> right? You know, on Mondays, you know, when the show was really starting to get going, we try, you know, we try to watch episodes. People invite us to watch them. And uh, we try to go live a lot. And But Monday night, it's like, in the winter, it's t- tough to get going again. Because then, like, I don't want to go. I don't want to go. But what, once you get there, you're like, one boom, boom. And they're like, okay, ready to go. And then Tuesday morning comes, and it's like, oh, God. Paying the price. Yeah. So be grateful <laughs> for Thursdays. <laughs> yeah. Because, I mean, growing up, that was when, that's that was my TV. That was, yeah. I guess not growing up, but my friends was on and, yeah. you know, a lot of, a lot of good shows at night. All the shows. What Seinfeld. Else? Cheers. Cheers. Fine with Builders. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What was <laughs> Monday nights? <laughs> Dateline. <laughs> Reruns. Monday night football, you're competing with that. We were on Sundays for the longest time, mm-hmm. and I remember being on Sundays, you know, trying to compete with um, uh, Game of Thrones. Oh God! Uh, oh man. And, yeah, and if it wasn't Game of Thrones, it might be Walking Dead. You know, so we were literally just—I don't know how we even made it. I mean, I don't. Thank you to the two or three people that watched. <laughs> and we're very vocal about it. You know, <laughs> the non-zombie lovers. <laughs> right, the non-zombie lovers. I really appreciate your support. I'm like Bartles and James over here. We've, we've been making a lot of comparisons because... <laughs> between like, like what we do in sports, you know, because there's a joke in there. I'm like, oh... Our contract's up. We got to figure out if we're going to sign another contract. We got to put up big numbers. And then I was just thinking, but even the night, there's a lot of luck involved. Just like in sports, if you get an injury at the wrong time, you could be done. But like the shows you're going up against, like we're all very, very lucky. And we joke about it, but to be where we're at when you think about it, you know, like you are up going yeah. up Game of Thrones and NFL and, and you're still sitting there. That's amazing. What's crazy, we will have done over 200 episodes. So we're working. Yeah, we're we're like a two eleven or two twenty or something like that. it's it's an insane amount of content that we've produced, yeah. and um, I I feel like I guess I feel like I should have on nicer clothing. <laughs> <laughs> no, I feel, like I, I feel like I should have more expensive you'll, garments. You'll just ruin it. Stay true, <laughs> stay true to yourself. I mean, I'd love that there would be something else. <laughs> you, know what, you know what I think you need should be happening right now. I mean, you need way more gray in that beard. <laughs> yeah. For 200 you know, so, episodes, that's impressive. You know what? I'm 53 this week. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Thank you, man. I, I guess it's, uh, yeah, maybe tomorrow. What is today? Thursday? Thursday, Mar- Thursday? Thir- Thursday, Thursday, March 2nd. Yeah, okay. Well, I'm right. on the, my birthday's the 5th, so I'm, I'm Sunday. Nice. I'm, and, and, you know, I really wanted to try to do, well, it wasn't going to be try. I was going to do 53 push-ups, you know, for turning 53. And um, then I realized I could do 65. So I'm just going to wait a couple more years. <laughs> <laughs> to make this challenging. See, back, back to the athletic uh, comparisons. <laughs> <laughs> so how was your time in Maine? What did you guys think? I'm so sorry. I interrupted you. How was your time in Maine? What you guys think about working up here? And I know you got we're in and out real quick. You're looking at Barnes in New Hampshire, and yeah, the thing is, um, Maine and West Virginia were it was so similar. Um, like like people wise, um, even the way the even the way that um, it felt driving. You, you know what I mean? I just it's one of those places where I feel like I'm safe. I feel like if I break down, there's literally somebody going to stop and ask me if I need something. That's what I felt about Maine, and I always tell this about you know about West Virginia. The the pride I have, I feel like whenever I cross into the state line, I'm going to be okay. And and being in Maine, I just always felt like I was going to be okay. No no matter what went wrong, somebody was going to help out, and that's the feeling I got. That's good. That's a big compliment. Yeah, for absolutely. Sure. Yeah, I, I, well, I love the food. My gosh, we we ate so much. Um, yeah, we, we had a blast. We, we truly loved it. And we loved to drive up there too, you know, seeing those, it looked like just one big Hallmark, um, movie after another through, you know, all the States we went right, through. Right, right, right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Did you go through Vermont? Yeah. That's a Hallmark movie. Yeah, we, went through Vermont, uh, we went through all that and then, and then ended up back in West Virginia, uh, uh called Maine. <laughs> <laughs> 
So you've yeah. you've already started on your next season, and you said yeah, it's so, a, it's about two weeks per episode, right? And so it's just boom from barn to barn to barn to barn to barn to barn to barn. To barn. Oh. Barn, man. Barn, not barn. The barn, the barn. I wish I could have been smart enough to get a job inside a building. <laughs> so, how many is it? Full film crew every time, every yeah. day. You guys are there working on every it? day. Two cameras, two assistant cameras, uh, sound. Um, there's at least twelve people that travel with the film crew, plus you know the six of us. I did notice that they had more cameras and people than we did. Yeah. Oh, and listen, the camera guy, listen to this. You're going to, our camera guy, he's won two Emmys. Um, yeah, yeah. He won two Emmys. Um, he, he was on the deadliest catch. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, that was wild. And then, and so he, they, um, he bought the camera that filmed the movie Top Gun. And so that's what they're using. So our, our picture, you know, our cinematography is just, it's beautiful. Yeah. That's that's impressive. No offense, but can we get him on here? I got a million questions for him. <laughs> I used to love Deadliest Catch, and it's a, I mean, how badass that guy must be. Can you imagine? Yes. Are there any did, before you did this? Did you, did you have reality TV shows you watch? And if it's yes, do you still watch them to this day, or have you declined? Because my answer is, Ash and I used to watch some. I'd watch Deadliest Catch, and I'd watch um, The Gold Rush, and then after being yeah. on. TV, I kind of don't really watch them at all anymore. That's funny, you know. I used to watch Bear Grylls and the uh, Glacier. And, and, yeah, and, and, and then the other guy, the Ness. Um, oh yeah, 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 but, yeah. I can't think. Yeah, of so that. anyway, but after being on TV, I don't really want to watch reality TV anymore, right? Daddy, you watch lots of reality <laughs> TV. Um, yeah, what type, hey, what type, what type of reality about, TV do you, kids, you guys watch? About what I watch. <laughs> Hey, Maddie, what does he watch? He's got what three guys. We watch Love Island as a family. I, awesome. I hear they're up to date on Bachelor season 27. No. No. No, no, just, no. no. It's just come Love on. Island. Come on. We have some standards. It's just Love, we, we it's Love Island. Oh, you, you know what? My nephew likes and my brother. They love Alone. That's yeah. a big one, right? You guys went through your Alone stage. That's a good one. Yeah. I love that. Um <laughs> there was yeah, there was. I you know, just heard that Survivor's in season number forty-four. Yeah, that's pretty crazy. I got a Survivor I mean, story for you some other day. <laughs> oh, <my God>. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Oh, we've been I've been watching the F one formula on Netflix. That one's pretty intriguing. Yeah, for sure. that's more like a TV. Um, doesn't feel like reality TV if it's on Netflix, but it is. So yeah, it does. You're with your full film crew the entire time. Yes. So once your season starts, they're right there, right? You know, I mean, obviously there's breaks and stuff like that, but that's 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 a lot. That's a lot of time to be working. And then just imagine me and the guys. I mean, so we're with each other every single day. Yeah, so, yeah. <laughs> In two different capacities, one as entertainers and the other as laborers. Right, right. So, yeah, I mean, you still have a job to do. You know, yeah. I mean, you've got two jobs to do, really. At least, you know, keeping yeah, it, yeah. keeping the project moving forward, but also put, you know, making this TV show. Right. Yeah. You know, we're uh, fortunate where, you know, the film crew comes in groups. You know, the full film crew isn't here for the entire mm-hmm. summer, and it's. You know, it's it's pretty exhausting when they're here for you know over three weeks. Well, I mean, J- J- July can go by just like that, you know. Yeah, or yeah, yeah. next thing you know, right. the summer's over. So and that's one thing like the pandemic kind of made us realize is like you know we don't want to got to find a fine line there because mental health and family time and you know you don't want to work all the time and just lose these years of your life. So we're trying to balance that. I think we, we got to since the pandemic, it's been better. Yeah, but sure. you almost got to pay your dues, you know. You know, one thing I noticed about you guys is is that you do figure out that balance, and and I think that that your show is staying alive as long as it has, and and the same with us is because we do seem to find that balance of work yep. and and home and family, and sometimes we just have to call. Sometimes the best word in our vocabulary is no. 
because we just can't do it. It's not worth the sacrifice if you're going to miss time at home with your, you know, with your kids or whatever. I mean, so Maddie, do you do you play sport? Like Chase, you left the filming one day to go to a game. Like you had a hard out, man, and and I loved it. Oh yeah, 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 absolutely. We were filming, and he's like, "I gotta go." He's like, "I'm, I gotta, I gotta leave at this time." And he did not mess around. He's like, "I'm out at this time," and he, that was impressive. I, I, I really respected you when, when you just told him, "We're, I'm done. I got a game to get to." <laughs> yeah, I'm going to see the, I'm going to see the favorite. What time? Fletcher was playing at what time? Fletcher was pitch. Fletcher was pitching. <laughs> yeah, no, absolutely, and that, yes, that's what it's all about. Is just making time for prioritizing everything say okay yeah you know yeah but yeah and maybe, you did that's it maybe this is a wrong statement but you have a lot more pressure i mean you're you're the main guy and you have your great team behind you but you know chase is lucky that like sometimes he can go away and they can find ash can step up like and that helps too you know he he can we can still make some content without him here you know oh, we, absolutely. we don't like not him not being there but we we can do it um and I think that helps. Too. Yeah, I mean, there's five of us, you know, and I mean, we kind of, yeah. you know, rely on each other. One of us knows what to do it <laughs> <laughs> at any given moment. Well, that, that's a real testament to having a strong crew because yeah. you know, not, not one of you has to carry the show all the way through. I and mean, look, sometimes there's injuries. Sometimes people have um, death in the family. You just have to go. You have to miss an episode for whatever reason. And the good thing about your crew and, and ours as well is that anyone can carry that show in in collaboration with the home crew. Yeah. And and so knowing that story, but that helps us a little bit more because it's, you know, start to finish four to five days, whereas yours might be finished over over time. Right. Somebody for us, we can set that at the beginning, like, hey, Sherman's not going to be here this week, you know. Gotcha. Gotcha. How do you keep it interesting after all these seasons? That's a good question. Oh, uh, that is a good question. You know, that's, um, you know, that, that, that plagued Elizabeth Taylor's uh, fifth husband on the wedding night. Uh, he, he knew what to do. He just didn't know how he was going to keep it interesting. <laughs> well, you, well, you know, <laughs> one time we, one thing we, you know, as, as the show's gone on, it's gotten a lot easier. You know, we look back from the first couple of seasons, how hard it was. And then we we pretty much had to beg steal a bar to get ten up ten camps in season one, and now yeah. you know we could cherry pick easily. And you know we've always we've made the decision that it's nice to have some new builds in and some other stuff, but we, we got to try to stay true to our brand too. You know, like you yeah. don't want to sway too far. Like it's nice that morale's good when you have an easy build. Morale's good when you have a short build, or when you when you when you do something a little bit different. Right. But you got to stay true. I think that just by the nature of uh, being Youth balls, we're always able to come up with content right. and act out <laughs> and act out. Yeah, you know, we can do all that stuff now. You know what I mean? Like, we can have fun with a dad joke book now, you know, and and just be so goofy. And, and I guess what's awesome is that a lot of us are reaching an age where we're just now remembering jokes that we heard at 14. <laughs> so we're finally getting them. <laughs> we're finally getting them. That's like, <laughs> we're finally getting a joke. Yeah. <laughs> we're good digress. Like everything does go that full circle and we're on the down path, right? <laughs> absolutely. Yes, absolutely. Juvenile yeah, humor again. <laughs> so I know I I was. Going to say, I don't know how you guys are doing this, but but for us, I mean, the physicality part is getting tougher. Yes. Uh, yeah. Oh, very. The yes. are harder, and our bones and joints. And I noticed uh, this last episode. You know, I I took a little fall, and I just didn't bounce right back up. I mean, I was I was down a day and a half, and you know, trying to I don't know deal with things was hurting. Yeah. <laughs> and. And that wouldn't have bothered me five years ago, you know. So I don't know what this is going to look like. Barnwood Builders, when we're, you know, just all they keep on going, and we're all in, you know, just we're all incontinent, and and just <laughs> you'll be like Coach Dicker over there in your champs doing the plays and stuff. <laughs> weekend at Barnwood, it'll be weekend at Barnwood instead of Bernie's. I'll just prop us up. You know what I mean? And 
but in <laughs> but in a strange way that's also relatable you know what i mean like <laughs> age is inevitable and right. everybody's dealing yeah. with it it's like you know we're we're in right. the same position it's you know we're getting older but i think what we're finding that we love is all the you know we're lucky we've got these young kids coming in and like mm -hmm. you said it's almost like this whole juvenile humor is starting <laughs> to uh be funny again and <laughs> so yeah. again that also breathes a new life into things keeps things right. interesting you know the whole passing on knowledge type of stuff you know we get these kids who don't know anything and you know helping them from square one you know square up a board you know stuff like that that it's and it's, it's really neat to watch our different summer help because they all love their job and, and they're all good kids and they come in on time but some of them are totally gonna do something different when they're yes, older and then yes. but some of them are like starting to get that it's like this might be something i want to do and to see them retain that knowledge and like how far they've come you know yeah. and it's not just a summer job to them it's a good possible career opportunity yeah. it's neat to see it's, it's rewarding to see that like that smile like when you can tell they get it and and i don't know it feels like you've become a teacher and you've just watched your pupil understand and really have that little bold moment of oh this is going to impact me, you know, this, this rise over run in laying this rafter out is going to actually be helpful. Um, and, and just have that moment. If I could, I'd love to ask Maddie, like, what is the worst dad joke that I might be able to use? Like, you have <laughs> any dad joke that you just hate that maybe I can try to use on air? I don't know. That's a hard question. <laughs> I would say right? any any dad joke. Is yeah, gonna... yeah. I'd say any dad joke. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, how do I keep from? So how do I keep relevant? How do I stay? Oh, you you, <laughs> you, you got to you, got, you got to be lit. That's that's oh, a so term. Look, you gotta, you, you're, you're not you're irrelevant. If it's still lit, you're not you're not there because right now what I went from. From being lit to fire, so <laughs> I want to say I want to I want to be more than fire. What's the next fire? Ick. Um, it goes lit fire, and then you're in the ick zone. No, no, no. <laughs> don't, what? What? don't end up in the ick zone. <laughs> okay, no, stop. What were some of the other ones last year? Can I, can I not say lit on TV, Maddie? Can I not? Um, I would. I mean, you can. <laughs> I personally would not. Okay, so. I got a story for you, Mark. So nothing makes well Chase and I. We we've been educated by these kids, and you know, not just because we don't try to be, be, try to, you know, and we respect them. And but nothing gets yeah. us makes us more happy than trying to get them, you know, <laughs> and you know, just trying to get them. Yeah. So one day yeah. I decide I'm going to be clever and I wear a Harry Styles knockoff shirt to a whole day of filming, and we actually film at night, pretend it's a horror movie. Well, I was. Running my mouth like ha, we we won. Sending them pictures that night. Well, come to find out, you know, a month, two months later, we're reshooting the whole night. <laughs> <laughs> my Harry Styles knockoff shirt didn't quite pass muster because it had like a nationwide brand on it. <laughs> like, yeah. it wasn't the right. Harry Styles part that got you in trouble? But yes, but and usually we're always putting them. I'm always putting my foot in my mouth afterwards. But oh yeah, and, without without a doubt. Yeah, it's without been fun, a doubt. Though. They keep us young, though. Yeah. I think you should try and use the word slay. Oh, there you, there oh, you go. Oh, That'll really. I slay notches, that's for sure. <laughs> I slay <laughs> dovetails. I, I, I slay entertainment, girl. You that's look what perfect. I, you low key slay. I low key. No, you know what? I, yeah. Or you you high key slay. You, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Depends. We'll see. Fire slay is what I do. <laughs> Oh, we just lost half our audience. I, <laughs> I think. I apologize. It's a great segue into our fan question. Thank you for saving me. Uh, <laughs> All righty. I have some. Are you ready? I'm ready. I think I'm ready to slay this. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, this one is from Anna Smith. What would you be doing if you weren't on TV? Besides I still, Yeah, I'd still, I'd still be goofy, but I would be doing the same thing. I've been doing this since 1996. So I'd be doing the same thing, but I'm also 
what people don't know is I'm an entrepreneur. So I pivot pretty easy and go to different things if the market's not right. So uh, at one time I opened up an insurance agency in like 2010, you know, because I just had to do whatever I needed to do. So I think I'd be doing the same thing. I just wouldn't have cameras in front of me. Yeah. Heard that one before. <laughs> insurance agency. I did, man. I look when the, when 2008 hit. I, I thought, okay, what? Well, yeah, when this when the recession hit, I thought, all right, so I can either go back to school and do taxes, um, you know, get my CPA. I could build caskets, or I can sell insurance because we need all three of those things. Yeah, insurance was the easiest barrier to entry, and given my work ethic, um, I was ready to just hit it, man, just get after it, and I did, and built it and sold it. Very interesting. I wasn't yeah. expecting that. No, not at all. <laughs> okay. Next question from David Lindsay. Do you have a favorite project you've worked on, either on TV or with your company? You know what? The projects for me are not the builds, but the experience that I have with the guys. So when we were in Montana, we saw things we never thought we would see. When we were um, artifact hunting um, near the four corners of uh, near Durango and just going through um, places that very few people had ever even seen and looking at all these, um, you know, I guess Native American villages that had just, just no longer there, you know, like we saw um, burial sites and, 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 churches and places of worship you know we saw everything all this old pottery and all, everything so for us it's all about the experience and not about the build it, i hope that helps i mean i'm not trying to get away from saying oh the chapel was the best one we built to me the most memorable ones are the ones where we had the most fun as a group sure <laughs> <laughs> no i think yeah that's a very valid answer yeah I just think, wanted to stick and yeah, being genuine and you know coming across on TV, I think that's again what made us both so successful. Well, like you said, yeah. as long as you can bet on keeping it real, yep. you know, keeping yeah. it interesting. Yes. Yeah. Maybe you'll be the first. I mean, no show is like really handed over to the next guy. Really, what's the longest show? Well, I mean, this old house they have generations. Yeah, they go on thirty years, right? Fathers have given yeah. off to their sons to grandsons. The motorcycle guys, they almost kill each other. Right. They were the first. <laughs> yeah. We still like each other. That's good. Yeah. I, That's the most important. You is. know, if you walk away and still like each other. Absolutely. Is that? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't think what? Maggie and I are going to be there. <laughs> that was the I do not like you stay. <laughs> I was, it wasn't intentional. Oh, okay. well, that makes sense. Well, it, I've learned a lot of stuff. Insurance agent, huh? I can yeah. see you in a tie. Oh, yeah. That was not happening. <laughs> yeah, I don't think it's kind of like up there. You know, you're not going to sell anything. You go knocking on doors and ties. And we just learned a lesson. Even if you had someone on last year, you got to have them back on if they're yeah, goofy, absolutely. handsome, funny, and intelligent. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you for joining us. Well, thanks for having me. And um, it's been fun. And so, you know, the invite's open for you guys down here. Absolutely. Absolutely. We, we have definitely to have to make our way down there. And the crossover episode airs May 4th. Supposedly, is what we're saying. To we the, gonna, to we the are going to have a of watch. our knowledge. Yes, we're going to have a watch party. Yeah. yeah See, yeah. that would be yeah. TV right there. If we told you when your episode is going to air, right? That's typical production. <laughs> oh yeah, the guys from Cat Mass. You just told me. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. That's production for you right there. Yeah. God love them. Is it an email chain somewhere? I'm just really <laughs> right. I mean, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> didn't find it in all the insurance paperwork. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but I tell you this, when we have the crossover episode, we are all going to slay, baby. We yes. Are yes. <laughs> all right. Yes, yes, yes. Well, we will end it with that, Mark. We'd love to see you, your beautiful wife, crew up here again sometimes. And until then, um, we'll keep watching, bud. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, love you guys. See thank you, man. you buddy. Thank you. And thank you guys. And after that, we got our next, our new one, most favorite segment. What is it, Chase? Phone a fan. Yes, phone a fan. Coming right up. All right.
And we are on to our next segment, Phone a Fan. We'll give our first call out to Daryl McCormack. That name sounds familiar. Oh, I know why. I think he's in Michigan. We'll see. Look who's sounding smart now. How about the teaching class last night? No, was... Hello? Hi, is Daryl there? This is Daryl. Daryl, this is Chase Morrill with Maine Cab Masters. How are you? Good, Chase. How are you? Good. I'm here with Ryan. Hi, Daryl. How you been, buddy? Hey, how you doing, Ryan? And, Good. And Maggie, we're uh, doing our podcast from the woodshed and giving you a call. Our new favorite oh, segment. Hi. So I had a light bulb go off, Daryl. Are you in? Where are you at? Uh, Monroe in Michigan. Monroe, Michigan. So you may be our furthest away Mug Club member. Really? <laughs> <laughs> so what, a month or two ago, Daryl, you around Christmas, you were asking about the mugs and um, how to get one because you love one for your own man room or whatnot, right? What's that? Um, you you were asking about a mug to have one home, right? To have one for your um, yeah, man yeah. I didn't know if you guys maybe sold those at the store and not online, you know. So I just was inquiring about it, you know. And I might have given you the wrong information because Cole soon, <laughs> very soon, you know, corrected me and said, "No, they only they're only given a limited number from Baxter." So, gotcha. Uh, you have to become a mug club member, but hey, you. They really can't beat it, you know? You got a mug. We sent it to you. So when you come here, you just have to remember it. That's the yeah, hardest part. Yeah, of course. I so like you have you have a mug. Days. We sent the mug out to Oh, you. fantastic. All right, all right. Yeah. This, yeah. this does have a happy ending. Yes, of course it does. <laughs> <laughs> well, I sent Ryan a picture on Messenger that yeah. I had. It yes. Nice. Chase wasn't aware of that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How's everything out Probably in Michigan? Uh actually kind of warm but tomorrow we're going to get some snow and some ice and then saturday is supposed to be 45 so yeah sounds about <laughs> right crazy weather yeah up and yeah. down huh? roller coaster of weather it seems like well i hear michigan i don't know about maine but we'll get three seasons in one day you know <laughs> yeah. we we had that today uh what yeah. do you what do you do out in michigan i'm a mechanic i, I work on school buses nice cool. yeah any school bus conversions in your future? That's always enamored me. You know, obviously those look pretty cool. And you know, I see some of these guys will do buy those and turn them into like uh, party buses for like NASCAR races and oh, stuff. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. Yeah. They'll right. Put that. They'll put a deck up on top or something. You know. Yeah. So the last thing someone's going to call me is a mechanic. You know, it's one thing I didn't <laughs> learn anything about. I wish I did. But they those school buses will run forever, huh? And if everyone says like, if you want an RV and like that's the way to go, buy one because it was fleet maintained. And then fix it up yourself. Right. Right. Yeah, well maintained. So nice. And we do all our own work on it. You know, fabric you know, fabrication on, you know, the body panels, everything. So do you have that little this is something I'm fascinated by too, because going down the interstate yesterday, a big chunk of ice came off a truck and almost hit me. But there's a couple of bus places around here that have that little like what would you even call it? A little tunnel that cleans the snow off the bus. Do you guys have those in Michigan? No. You, you might, that might be a moneymaker for you right there. <laughs> <laughs> Next time I'm in Lewiston, I'll try to remember and send you a picture. Yeah. You, you yeah, know what I'm talking about, yeah, right? Yes. Yeah, no, it's a serious thing. I mean, you, we get so much ice and everything, and on these tall vehicles, you know, driving along and it blows off, it's uh, can be pretty deadly. Yeah. Oh, I bet. For, that's for I sure. Bet. So how long have you been watching Cabin Masters? Oh, uh, probably after your second season come out. Oh, nice. That's a long time. Yeah. And uh, um, just flipping through, and I come across it, and it's like, wow, wow, this is pretty interesting. <laughs> <laughs> well, we just got done interviewing Mark Bow from Barnwood Builders, so you can say you followed him up. Pretty exciting. Yeah, yeah I actually, actually, I started, the, I think they, they were on before you guys were on, right? Yes. Before 200 episodes. Started. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, so great? I watched some of them, you know, and uh, I guess that's how I found you guys, so. Perfect. Yeah, another another great group of people. Oh yeah. Do, oh yeah, doing what they love. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, they're pretty funny. That's true. Well, are you gonna get to Maine and bring that mug with you sometime soon? You know, I'd like to. Uh, my my stepson went to CO, COA there what? last year. He did a year. And yeah. I don't know if you remember Chase, but the last year on the, your podcast, I emailed a question that if you did anything with your alumni there and you like, I think this was rigged. Oh, like yes, that. that's yes. That was me. 
<laughs> I thought it was rigged. That's right. That's right. That's right. And I, I had no way. I had no idea you said you had an event coming up after you know after that. Yeah, but I was just curious and like you know I thought maybe you did you know who you are and you know having the business and everything. Yeah, and uh, so yeah, it wasn't rigged. Oh, that's too funny. <laughs> now it was your son who went there. My uh, stepson. Stepson. He, I did a, a year. I did a year there. When and, was he uh, there? He, uh last year. Okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> 2022. You so. did an alumni event since then. The last summer, right? You did a talk. Yeah, yeah, that was the one that, yeah. like I said, it was funny timing. We went up. I went up to Bar Harbor and hung out. And... Did a coffee and conversation or something like yeah, that. Exactly, you know? exactly. It was fun yeah. to go back, and it's always fun to go back to Bar Harbor. Yeah, different world. Yeah, it's a beautiful place. Nice. Now you guys were up in Michigan last year, weren't you? At an event. I, I, yeah, asked that a whirlwind event. If that was that last year. Yes, it was a year ago. Because last night we were just oh, talking oh, about. Yeah. Um, how much we flew last spring. We were all over the place. Yeah. So I don't I don't know if you know Daryl, but we literally we went down the day before and we were supposed to fly out and something happened. They fixed they changed our flight and we didn't have a flight. And then we're like, oh, what are we gonna do? So but we you know said we were gonna come out there. We wanted to, you know, be, be true to our fans. So the next morning we got on a drove back to Portland. Very early. Early chased myself at three thirty in the morning, got on a plane. Straight to wow. Detroit. Detroit. Where we rented a car, and then we drove two and a half, three hours up to some oh, little town. Little town. There's a college town up there. Yeah, oh, I can't think of the name of it. Uh, Gosh, did a talk, had a fun. Met, yeah, was there for three hours, and then we got back in the car instead of driving south, and they had not. They forgot since our flights changed. They didn't book it. They didn't oh. change our. Flight home, so we're about you know we were taking our time getting back, you know, joyriding. <laughs> we find out we don't have flights back. We end up finally getting a flight, and like we got home at like yeah. twenty four hours later, but it was the longest day of my life yeah. by far. Wow, was wow. it? Yeah. It, it, yes, it was, it was. It was. It was too much. But way we, too we, much. You know, oh, yeah. we saw some of Michigan. <laughs> well, we, saw, yeah. we met some really cool, interesting people. Yeah, very nice people. Absolutely. Yeah. You remember the young man we met, um, Trey? We met his fi- grandparents were involved with the home show, and he drove four wheelers. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. So I, I you know, I'm his buddy on la- online. Oh, nice. And uh, he's autistic, so he, you know, rides his four wheelers in name of autism, and he's a great story for people. So I'm gonna oh, um, cool. donate some money and help um, sponsor him a little oh, bit cool. this year. Very nice. So you see, everything happens for a reason. I was talking to his mom the other day, which is really cool. Yeah. It's like. That yeah, might be the my reason. son's autistic. Oh, my really? Son's autistic. Yeah, yeah, not the one. Yeah, my stepson was the one that went to COA, but my my son is autistic. Yeah, yeah. So he loved this. This his name's Trey Miller. He races Miller. quads, you know, in the Michigan area. And he's just got a great story, and he goes all around the Midwest. So, yeah. Oh, wow. See this all. It, see, this it all, does. I got goosebumps. It it's all meant to be. You know, like <laughs> everything happens for a reason. Right. That's right. the beautiful, sure. beautiful thing about this world. Yeah. Well, Dale, right. Dale, trying to yeah. Bring your mug up to uh, Manchester. Yeah. <laughs> you know, that's about a 16-hour drive, I guess, one way. Hop, hop in one of those school buses and head on up. Yeah. <laughs> that sounds like a plan. All right, buddy. Well, yeah, thank you very much for all your support. And, um, yeah, when hey, we get no back problem. to Michigan, maybe we'll see you there. Yeah, thanks for watching. Hey, sounds good. All right, thanks buddy. Thanks for calling. Have a good day. All right. Thanks, you too. That's just amazing. That is. You know that I brought him up and like it's that's yeah, pretty cool, huh? Sometimes everything's connected. It really is. This little TV show of ours, sometimes it blows your mind. Weird stuff that happens. Yeah. All right. Are we now it's even more my favorite up <laughs> favorite part of the show. Are we on to fan questions? Yeah. Okay. Why did you ask like a question? I didn't know if we were doing another phone a fan, but nope, don't think so. We've been okay. talking a lot today. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's, your, it's your job. All right. <laughs> this question is from Lynn Mattern. We live in a log cabin with a tin roof. Rusted. <laughs> I was just going to tin roof. <laughs> you know that Maggie, song? Maggie doesn't get no, it. No, <laughs> I continue, please. Do you know what that is from? No. Trivia question for Maggie. What song is that from? I don't know. Or what band? I don't know. All right. Want to sing it? <laughs> no, please don't. All right. I'm going to continue this. We live in a log cabin with a tin roof. 
Stop. <laughs> we wondered if it's possible to install skylights through the roof and then seal it well enough so it doesn't leak. As Manny Dixon say, it doesn't make sense to put a hole in a perfectly good roof. It's true. <laughs> um, it, it can be done, but anything's possible. We wouldn't recommend it. I will tell you, I have a, an old corrugated metal roof. I have a skylight in it, and it's, it leaks. And it's rusty. Does it? Oh, yes. Is that why I don't have windows in my room? <laughs> that, is, that is definitely one of the reasons why you do not have windows in your room. <laughs> and guys, in Chase Defense, Maggie's not in the basement. Maggie, no, I'm in the attic. Ma 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 no. Ma Chase's house is wicked cool and funky, and you're in a... Yeah, in a right. windowless room. Yeah, but you got your own balcony. <laughs> yes. Into the kitchen. Well, you could probably cherry with Fletcher. In my life, but it, is... you know, it's a, it's yeah, it's an old mm -hmm. house. You're up. Do you want there. a window? I'll build you one. I yes, I would one. actually. But it like would a require window. putting a skylight in a metal roof. Let's do a doghouse dormer. Yeah, I'll, I'll take she's, that. She's gone next after next year. Yeah, but I still have to come <laughs> home sometime. Oh, you probably should have asked a long time. Would I be your favorite uncle for real? <laughs> Yeah. Done. Anyways, it's it is doable on this thing on this situation. I would definitely recommend hiring a professional because if it's a standing seam metal roof, you want to make sure everything's flashed. I mean, no matter what, you want to make sure everything's flashed properly. But there's special kits to make it happen, and it's not easy to get a tight seal, especially if it's old corrugated. But it is doable. It all depends on how important it is to you. I'm trying not to make a joke about them songs. Stop. <laughs> do not. I do. I feel like the technology has gotten better, you know. But have you met? Have you met met an old one that didn't leak? It seems no. like they all do that over time. Well, yeah. it's just a bad combination. It is, and again, it's one of those things. If you were putting in a metal roof, that would be the time to do it. But it's going. You know, it's not. But the other, the other. There are other options, like I was saying, you could do a doghouse dormer, which is a lot more money. But you, you know, you could put a little do dormer on there. You could put a little shed roof. Oh, yeah, you could do a shed yeah. dormer if you really, really want it. That's how we'd recommend. Yep. Yeah, Maggie, you can have whatever you want. Well, Pat, yeah, like yeah, like you said, Dixie always says, "Why put a hole in your roof?" <laughs> Every time, same thing. <laughs> Every time. Every time. Why would you put a hole in a perfectly good roof? Yes. Okay. B50, Next question. B fifty twos, Maggie. That's the name I'm of the confused. band. All right. <laughs> Jane me a Chrysler, it's as big as a, a car, and it's a pop. stop. Okay. Love. So Shaq. everybody, everybody. Love Shack, baby. Everybody, everybody. Stop. Love Shack. Okay. I have a question. Okay. This question is from Jane Weir. What was the name of the log cabin caulking compound for both outside and inside? I think you mentioned it uh, on the Teresa Secord program. Um, we definitely mentioned it on the Teresa Secord episode. We used lots of it. Um, there's many different brands out there, but it's an elastic, elastomeric caulking that's UV protected. It comes in different wood tone colors. So depending on the color of your logs, you can try and match it up as much as possible. But it, the beauty of it, again, it's UV protection. It, you know, expands, contracts with the, you know, shrinks with the logs as necessary. But it, like I said, we used. And it was a nasty process. Yeah. In our pre-pilot pilot, we did it and it was wet. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We Wax used... and oakum. <laughs> and... No, and luckily on that, you know, the cedar logs were in good shape. They were very tight seams. We didn't have to do any backer or anything behind it. But if you have wide, you know, I'm not sure exact size, but it'll say on the container how wide the gap is. You may need some sort of filler or backer behind it. Um, there's a lot of log cabin product websites. And like I said, there's many different versions of it. So you just need to uh, hop on one of those. I don't know the exact name, but yeah, it's there. Maggie's door dashing. Thank right. you. What? what? I have to go to the ski club after this. <laughs> Maggie's door dashing during the middle of our yeah. podcast. What? Thank you. Kids. What did you get? Yeah, what'd you get us? It's Starbucks. <laughs> the three of them, I hope. Nope. <laughs> 
Okay. Did you answer your question? I think so. You think so how so? did you just do that? You just, you just got on the <laughs> it's app. It's very easy. But what did you pay? Like, how much did you pay for that? Extra. I don't know. Like, I mean, you're the executive more, producer. More, but then I the also podcast. don't have to drive to Augusta. Because I don't have time to drive to Augusta. Okay, so what does a DoorDasher make per hour? Rough. What do you think around here? I don't know. Next time, let's get the DoorDasher up on the yes. podcast while they're here. No. Yes. They deliver beer. I don't. I don't know. Again, Probably not. Pat's Pizza. Time to get a DoorDasher. <laughs> We're not okay. This has gone off rails <laughs> so quickly. I've had like, fun though. We even laughed and yeah. laughed and laughed. All right, so we are on to trivia. Yeah, we are. Last week's trivia question was: um, How many hard. counties border on Canada? It wasn't that hard. Oh, that's what. That's funny. I was looking at my. Coaster, I'm like, why is it so dry? I say four or three. I say four. Six. It's five. Oh, <laughs> come on. <laughs> we cannot win today. Washington, Aroostook, Franklin, Somerset. Somerset. Washington, Aroostook, Franklin, Somerset. There's one more. Probably that one right down there yeah right. you know that one Washington, Washington <laughs> it's my favorite most county yeah. pretty much right up to a rooster a rooster comes down over here which one's bethelon scatequist no i don't know what it is no but i want a map of man's place <laughs> <laughs> well anyways if you know the answer and yeah. you're the first person to send it to podcast at maincabinmaster.com you can win a wonderful prize yes yeah okay next question this week's trivia question is which is further north, Moscow, Maine, or Moscow, Russia? Ooh. Oh, you're doing some good trivia questions. You're in a good groove. It's because they're She's easy slaying it. ones. Yeah. They're easy ones. <laughs> oh, what do you think? I mean, we can talk about this, can't yeah, we? Yeah. I think, I, I think it's a trick question. I want to say Moscow, Russia. Why would that? Well, be when we were in, a trick question. I'm going to say they're at the same. That's why Moscow, Maine was named Moscow, Maine. Not some Russian right. immigrant. Okay. Think about when we were in Denmark. The, yeah, the world. I don't know, but if you do know the answer, like I'm Ryan saying Moscow, said, Maine. Podcast at maincabmasters.com. Send in your answer, and yeah, if you're the first correct one. This is an easy one to try and answer, though. Yeah. 50-50. It's not a six or four and it'd be five. <laughs> and don't forget to reach out with question, fan questions for us. Project pointers. You know, are you our biggest fan? If you want to give a, you know, want us to give you a call, reach out. Let us know. Let, we want to hear from you. And if you have a problem with the house and your biggest fan, even better. Yeah. Win, win, win. And we always want to thank our guest, Mark Bow, for joining us again May 4th is big crossover event, but we'll uh, we'll let you know as we get closer. Watch our socials. Is that how I say that, Maggie? Sure. Keep an eye on our <laughs> socials. <laughs> sure. Thank you again to our sponsors, Hammond Lumber Company, Nelma, Hero Media Network, Kennebec Savings Bank, and From the Woodshed, we'll be talking to you. From the Woodshed has been brought to you by Nelma. See the stamp? Trust the quality. Hammond Lumber, your building project partner. Kennebec Savings Bank, helping our local community save, thrive, and grow for over 150 years. And Hero Media Network, connecting small business with new customers. From the Woodshed is a production of Kennebec Cabin Company. See you next time.